Hello, uh, my name is Kevin Durgeon and this is my colleague Mark Bofi. Um, we work together on the Acupuncture Research Symposium that's going to be taking place uh, this coming March, March the 25th, 2017, um, and it will be taking place in central London. In a new venue. We've been at King's College for the last three years. This year we're in a new venue and uh, one particular attraction of it, apart from the spaces, is that it has a nice little restaurant downstairs, so you can get hot food and somewhere to eat it as well. It does have a very nice restaurant downstairs. Very, very tasty and um, tasty hot food. Nice yeah. place to sit down when you've been concentrating anyway, all day. Kevin, I was going to, I was going to <laughs> ask you as a bit of an introduction before we get on to the details of the symposium um, to just say something more generally about what you see as the significance of um, research for acupuncturists. It's so important. I've been an, an acupuncturist now for 10 years. I never used to think that it was that relevant to me. I can now see the relevance of acupuncture research. When I'm trying to um, explain to people who aren't from the acupuncture world that acupuncture works, I usually get a really blank look of, oh, does it work or not? <clears throat> Actually, being able to tell people there is research that shows acupuncture does work for this condition, it you can actually win an argument. It's you important, can, isn't it? It's so important. It yeah. supports my practice and mm. it will support the practice of other BXC members as well. Mm. Being able to, 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 to talk about acupuncture research with that confidence. It's being done mm. at a really high level now. We've been working um, with acupuncture practitioners and researchers over 19 years yeah. on this symposium and now the work is really starting to gain momentum. Lots of people around the world are doing great things. Mm. It is important for us as a, as a profession that we get behind all of this work and we show it our support. It is and, and you'll be able to hear um, as always cutting-edge research from leading researchers at the symposium. And this year, for the first time, <coughs> we have um, someone from one of the East Asian countries, um, from South Korea, and he's a senior researcher at the Korean Institute of Oriental Medicine, Mai Young Soo Lee. He is going to focus, and they've got an enormous range of um, research they do into traditional medicine, which would include um, acupuncture. Um, he's going to focus on pattern differentiation. Um, and in, in, in a massive trial with nearly 5,000 stroke patients, they looked at the characteristics, um, various characteristics, physical signs and symptoms, um, laboratories, laboratory results, and they compared those against traditional Korean medicine diagnoses made by two practitioners. And... Um, you have to come to the symposium to see what the results are of that. It's going to be exciting. Just a couple of years ago, would we have had research projects with 5,000 participants in them? Yeah. It's really wonderful. We can, we're now competing with the bigger boys, which is, mm. which is great. Yeah. Okay, Mark, for you, what are the highlights of this symposium going to be? Well, that's, that's obviously one of them, as I say, having someone, having someone from East Asia, which we've never had before. We've got a number of people who are delivering new clinical trial results. Um, so one of our own members, Kareem um, Gilliman, has self-funded uh, a whole randomised control trial on acupuncture uh, and I've, um, together with IVF. And fantastic results, about twice the, um, twice the effect sizes for acupuncture in terms of pregnancy rates and live birth rates as for the non-acupuncture arm. Um, I'm incredible that she's managed to do this without any external funding. But also, it's so wonderful for our profession to yeah, be having this, this amount of um, research data because mm. we all know that acupuncture helps with fertility in our own, from our own clinics. Mm. This research now demonstrates it in it a language that other people can understand. Yeah, it's, it it's, it's terrific. And there's, there's also going to be trial results um, for low back pain and more on um, acupuncture for uh, pelvic pain chronic pelvic pain in women <laughs> um, and Hugh McPherson's going to be there rounding up the latest of the the big 
uh, randomised trial, putting it all together. He's going to put the neck pain data in as well, mm. and in particular, he's going to be he's going to be presenting results on long term effects. And this is this is massively important for selling acupuncture mm. in the NHS yes. to show that it has not just immediate but long term effects as well. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So we do hope that you're going to be able to join us at the Acupuncture Research Symposium, 25th of March. It's a Saturday, central London, and all the details. I imagine you can you can find them along the bottom or on the side of this somewhere. Mm -hmm. So hope to see you there. Thank you so much.